We've all seen movies with exciting sword fighting scenes where actors swing from chandeliers and leap from balconies. That's a far cry from the real sport of fencing. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live at the Spokane Fencer Unlimited to show us how this fast and athletic sport works. Yeah, good morning, guys. We've been uh, fencing all morning long. These are two gentlemen that are uh, some of the best young people fencers and just overall fencers in the Pacific Northwest. This is Cole Carter over here. He's the president of uh, Spokane Fencers Unlimited. And we've been talking about fencing this morning. You were going to show me some of the defensive moves. Like when you right. watch these guys, how, how do they, you defend yourself? Okay, what you do is what's called a parry. And so what you're trying to do then is, is block the other person's blade. Once you do a parry, then you want to go the, on the offense and do a counterattack. It's called a repose. Okay, and you're going to show me one of those right, right now. Right. And then this is called a mask. And this is okay. called a foil. Foil. Okay. And these are. It's just a jacket. Just a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you salute each other before you put your helmet on, okay. and then Cole. Okay. So uh, come, on, come on guard. Okay. All right, so we're on guard. And then I'm going to just so lunge. Attack, what I'll do is, is when Eric attack, I'll knock his blade aside. Then from here. I come right back to his body. Okay. okay. And we were talking earlier, how important is the footwork when you're fencing? Footwork is about 70% of fencing. So really, the other thing you do, if you attack, I can just step up, back up. Okay. That will, that will give me defense. And then I can attack at my leisure. Okay. That. And that doesn't hurt when you get poked. Maybe a bruise, but I mean, that doesn't... Yeah. It, 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 fencing is a safe sport. It's a lot safer than volleyball. So really, kids... Cruise, but generally it's, it's no problem. And we're watching the, the, these guys fence. How do you score points in fencing? What you do, they're doing foil, so you need to touch your point to the, the lame, the silver vest they're wearing. When you do that, you'll see the lights go on in the machine here. Depending on who has the right of way, they're the one that gets a touch. And how many, you, what do you go to? In the beginning bouts, you go to five touches. Then when you do direct eliminations, it's 15 touches. 15 touches, okay. Pretty good workout? It's a, it's a good cardiovascular sport. Um, and it, you know, tournaments can go, you know, if you keep winning, you can go all day long. So it's, it's a real good workout by the end of the day. And you, tell me about the club here. If people want to try this, they can. Yeah, the club's been here since 1982, and we give lessons uh, once a month. The first Monday of every month, we give lessons. And we're available online. Just go to Google. You can find us or look in the phone book. Okay, Spokane Fencers Unlimited. All right, Mike Clyde, we've got to get you guys out here. This is yeah. what you guys should do to get warmed up before the show every morning. <laughs> lot of fun and we see things like this all the time but I've yeah. never actually learned the rules behind it or anything exactly how heavy is that equipment Eric it's really light is it is it? really light how much do you think this weighs Cole you know I, I don't know the weight but they are light. yeah like even it's, when you hold it you're just supposed to hold it with your two fingers I mean that's where oh. you get all your control oh, it's wow. a very finesse sport you're not you're not whacking guys you're just trying to get that point in and poke so they, Cole was teaching me you just hold it with those two fingers so it's not that heavy at all really interesting thanks yeah. Eric